Good morning. It's time to get ready for a funeral. I feel like my neck's in a weird position. It is. All right. I think what I'm going to try to do is daily-ish. I don't want to say daily because I know it's never going to happen daily. Documenting and doing daily videos of just the shit that I do. Every day. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but never actually do. And so I thought today would be a good start to actually do that because today's my mom's funeral. And it's one of those things where when somebody dies, you think about life and you think about all the, all the shit you could have done or the shit you should do instead of all the stuff you miss out on. Um, and you kind of think about what's important. And my mom, like she had a pretty good life, but she like retired and then pretty close right after retirement, she got cancer. The rest of her retirement years were, they were okay at first, but then it went downhill and then it just got to the point where she couldn't do much. And, um, and then she died. So basically her retirement was just medical visits and slowly dying, I guess. I mean, that does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. And it's sad because like you work all this time and you, you pay for cars and things and all this stuff. And it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of like the cliche thing, but you, you, you pay for all that stuff and you, you work and you, uh, you know, you look forward to retirement and you retire and then you, then you die, you get sick and die. And like, that sucks. And that's like, it's sad. And I don't want to do that. And it's, it's like, I'm on the path to do that right now. I feel like, like work until you retire and then you die. So anyway, I thought this would be a good day to start because this is like, when I look back in, in a year, you look back in a year and you, and you kind of can remember like why this was so important to, to do this. That, that sound right? I feel like I said that clumsily. I mean, it sounds right. All right. So, good morning. It's time to get ready for a funeral. So I'm killing time before the funeral. Uh, wore my bright color shirt because, you know, I had some fun at the funeral, I guess. I, I don't know if it's maybe had fun is not the right thing to say, but um, so I'm just killing time. I thought I'd mess around on the guitar. I'm not a very good guitar player, but this is a good hobby to do while you're in between doing things, so. All right, we're at the funeral. I'm a little nervous, I don't know what they are. It's always a little weird, because there's a bunch of people there that's crying and it's sad. You don't want to be sad at the funeral for some reason, right? Or is that I just me? that's the perfect time to be sad. I hate, I hate being sad at the funeral. Like, make it a happy time and then be sad on your own time when nobody's around. Maybe that's not a good coping mechanism. That's how you do it. That's how I do it. Funeral done. It's way harder than I thought it was going to be. This is kind of the second funeral. Because the first funeral was where she lives and this is where she used to live. The second one was way harder, I felt like. I don't know how you guys yeah. felt. Because um, it's kind of that final... Yeah. Final. It's like the one. final, final, like, it's all done, so... It was hard, but there were so many people there, and there was, um, it was just really good. I'm really clunky right now. So, it was good. It was just, it was, uh, it's one of those things that, again, it reminds you that how important it is to live life. My mom lived a pretty full life, I feel like, and she touched a lot of people, and she was a good person. I know what I was thinking about in there. What will people say at your funeral? That's like, I'm sure that's like a cliche thing that people say. Right, but it's true. But it's true. Like, like, like. There was a ton of people. The whole church was full. People had all sorts of good stories, and they had stories when the thing was over, and they would tell me stories. You know, what are people going to say at your funeral, or are they even going to show up to your funeral? Right. So, you know, it's one thing getting in there, but then all the stories. So it's just, uh, that's something I'm going to try to think about over this next year, about, you know, who am I, and... Um, what will people say about what, me? What will people say about me when I die? Or what do you want them to say about or, me? Yeah, yeah, what do you want them to say? Like, I know what people will say to me about me now, what I don't know. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it's a mix of good and bad, they'd say, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Funeral's done. It was good. Got to see a lot of people that we haven't seen in a while since I was a kid. Getting ready to go to a comedy show tonight, uh, which is kind of nice. I'm not hosting the comedy show. I'm just attending it. Um, so it's kind of nice. I can actually relax and enjoy it. Pre-game. Cheers. Dink. Drinks are expensive, yo. <laughs> they are. Whoa. Oh. I was like, they are. Tone Loke. I uh, Tone Loke. <laughs> I don't know what he says. What does Tone Loke say? His name. His name. He says, <laughs> hey, I'm Tone Loke. Anyway, we'll see you at the bar. <laughs> 
Well, the first video is done-ish. Uh, probably not done very well um, because it's my first time really trying to make a video. And it's really hard to record things throughout your day for some reason. And honestly, I'm, I'm really kind of embarrassed to put it up because it's one of those things that's just like, it's hard to put yourself out there, especially when it's kind of a weird, crappy video. Um, but I'm going to do it because I told myself I would do it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully my videos get better. Subscribe right now, I guess. Go for it. Um, follow me. Um, and join me on my, my daily journey, I guess. All right, man. Have a good day.